What up, what up, what up, people? It's happening again. Only today is my birthday. So, to start this video out, I'm going to have me some bubbles. Let's see if anybody's joined yet. I'm getting some notifications. That's one person on here. Who is it? Somebody say hello. There's two. There's three. Come on, join us. Thanks, Ashley, for the birthday love. Obviously, I'm doing it right. I'm having me some uh, rosé here. What's up, Abel? Hello, how are you? All right. So, I'm trying not to get too litty kitty, but I can't promise anything. Mark, hello, hello. All right. So, it's Sunday, April 12th. Easter, my birthday. This should probably be a fun drinking game. You guys can count how many times I say it's my birthday on this video. <laughs> So you know what, we're gonna get started right. We're gonna have some um, some bubbles today. Let's wave at some people. Toya, Jenna, Amy, what up? Kenny, what up? That's 14, 15, so many people. Kelly Scott, hello, hello. You know what, I was trying to figure out how to add my Venmo because I know you guys want to um, send me some birthday cash. You know what, we're gonna be all right. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. We're like three minutes early, four minutes early before I start cooking. Honestly, today's dem uh, demo is gonna be super quick. Joseph, how are you, sir? All right, Albert, what up? Yeah, today's cooking demo is gonna be super quick, super easy. I wanna just jump on, honestly, do something fun for my birthday and not necessarily sit around and mope. I'm looking real shiny. <laughs> yeah, but I want to jump on and do something for my birthday and not sit around a moat and actually celebrate and show y'all something fun that you can cook for brunch. Miss Marty, how are you? <laughs> yeah, your mom's on there. <laughs> you can't see her, but you know. can just see what she comments. Everybody, this is my roommate, Jared. Hi, everyone. He's actually hanging out today um, while I cook. But... Um, yeah, this is going to be a really simple, easy, quick brunch um, dish. We're going to do a sweet potato hash um, with some caramelized onions, some chorizo. We're going to do a little guacamole on top. Um, <laughs> glowing, honey. Is it glowing or is it just like real, real shiny? It's one of the two. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started because I got other stuff I want to do today. I did um, go ahead and slice up my onions earlier before I jumped online and did the live and go ahead and start caramelizing the onions. You guys want to take a quick look. Um, that's actually about two onions, two large onions right there. When you caramelize onions, um, they're going to cook down to literally nothing. It's kind of like when you open that bag of spinach and like, oh, I got this whole bag of spinach and then you cook it and it's like three leaves you feel like in a pot. So that's essentially what happens. Um, thank you, Catherine. Appreciate the birthday love. Um, but yeah, when you caramelize onions, that's essentially what happens. It breaks down and cooks down to nothing. And for those of that don't know uh, what caramelized onions are, is essentially you slice some onions really, really thin, put a little bit of butter, um, salt and pepper to season it in the skillet. And cook it on medium to medium low heat. Um, and it's just going to pull out all the natural sugars in the uh, onions. Ashley Bush, what up? March, what up? Thank you for the birthday love. Um, but yeah, it's going to pull out all the natural sugars in the onions um, and just give them a really like natural sweet flavor without adding any extra sugar or anything to it. Um, so I do already have those going over here. In this back skillet, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start my chorizo as well. I'm going to go ahead and get that heating up. Um, a lot of people tend to correlate sweet potatoes with um, very sweet dishes like candy yams, things that you can only cook, you know, on holidays, aka Easter, that kind of thing. Personally, I love to take a sweet potato and kind of make it a savory dish. Claire, how are you? Diana, what up? You're always here. I love it. Thank you for the support. Ashley Matthews, hello. Brooklyn, what's up, boo? I miss you. Everybody, Brooklyn that just commented, she's a fantastic artist. Y'all should check her out on Instagram. She just put out an EP a couple weeks ago. Really, really great music, for real. It's feel-good music, too. Miss Sonia, hello. Okay, so... Let's get started up in this kitchen. We find my knife. Where's that? Oh, here it is, right here on my cutting board. Hello. I promise I've only had one sip of rosé. Um, so I did go ahead and start dicing up some of my sweet potatoes. But like I was saying earlier, sweet potatoes typically 
or a dish that people do like sweet potato pie or candy yams or something like that. I like to take them and make them into a savory dish. Um, and hash is one of my favorite ways to do it. Um, they're a little bit better for you than like your normal potatoes. So that's why, you know, you see me doing a lot of stuff with sweet potatoes. I think out of the last, the three, four videos I've done, this is the second time I've actually cooked with them. So with these, we're just gonna do a quick like medium dice. You don't want them to be too small. Sweet potatoes will break down and cook pretty fast. Um, and with this dish, once we get everything like chopped up and put in the pan, uh, I'm gonna cover it so some of that like natural steam will break them down a lot faster as well. Um, if you guys didn't see the flyer for the recipe, um, it is on my Facebook wall. So if you wanted to, Miss Webb, hello. How's that baby doing? Nicole, hello, Lonnie Hunt, what up? Um, yeah, if you did, if you guys didn't get the, um, if you guys didn't get the recipe, um, it is on my Facebook wall, so you can go check that out and recreate this dish yourself. Like I said, again, this is a super easy dish. It's not really hard to make at all. Um, but yeah, we got our caramelized onions going ahead of time. Again, caramelized onions are something that's uh, really simple to make. Um, you have really, really versatile. You can throw them on sandwiches, um, burgers. You can use them in like tortillas. Um, I just really like the natural sweetness and the flavor of it. Caramelized onions are essentially the base of French onion soup. I don't know if I have any French onion soup lovers out there, but um, again, the way you make caramelized onions is slice them really thin. You're going to add some fat to the pan, whether it be butter. I typically like to do it with butter. It just gives it a really good flavor. Um, but add some fat to the pan and cook them low and slow because it's going to pull out all the natural sugars uh, in the in the onions to make them uh, brown and give them that caramelized feel. Sade Scott, that's my honorary cousin right there. <laughs> she always she always talks about how I have so many cousins jumping on my lives and saying hello and I'm always speaking to the family. So come on, honorary cousin. And yes, it is my birthday. It's like the sixth time I've said that. Um, but yeah, caramelized onions are just about finished. I went ahead, like I said beforehand, and started those. I got my sweet potatoes in the pot already. Um, a fun fact with bell peppers, the way you can alleviate the waste. I know a lot of you guys typically like to just cut them down the center. If you take a bell pepper and just top or cut the top off and kind of like make an under ring out of it, you can utilize this part still, pop the core out, and still have the rest of the bell pepper there to use. Um, instead of like cutting it down the center and, you know, having a bunch of waste. Matt, hello. Jennifer Fields, hello. If you guys want some fun stuff, see some fun stuff about me, go to my Instagram and check it out. Jennifer like just sent me all the birthday love and I really appreciate it. I've been knowing her for a while. You guys, especially right now, it's more important than ever to make sure you uh, rinse all your produce, your fruit and stuff really, really well. Um, just with everything that's going on. So because this hash is kind of like a rustic dish, there's really no right or wrong way to like chopping up your potatoes and your bell peppers and stuff. You know, just kind of like, just go for the flow. Let it come out how it comes out. Um, I am adding chorizo to this here in a little bit, but a very fun way to kind of make this a vegetarian dish, you can make your, Allison, hello boo. What up cousin, Keon? Um, what up Neil Anthony? Thank you for the birthday love. Um, a very easy way to, cousin Ursula, hello. A very easy way to make this vegetarian dish is honestly make your own chorizo out of um, tofu. Um, and you essentially just take tofu, ground it up, add some seasonings to it, cumin, um, a little bit of paprika, chili powder, onion powder, garlic. Um, I don't know the recipe off the top of my head, but you know, you get the gist. You can definitely have a substitute for this. And then if you wanted to do the same thing and add like mushrooms to give it a more like meaty-ish flavor, uh, you can do that also. Mushrooms are always a really good substitute. So again, in this pot with the sweet potatoes, I did add about um, four tablespoons of olive oil, um, just to ensure that we don't have any like sticking and stuff to the bottom of the pan. And then with this green bell pepper, like I said, I'm giving it just a really rough dice, because this is a more like rustic uh, dish. You don't necessarily have to have like the best knife cuts to um, execute this dish. Um, I wish I could talk to people a little bit more than my fingers closer. Shade, are you laughing because I called you an honorary cousin? <laughs> well, you are, friend. <laughs> Nick, hello. Oscar, hello. I hope you're doing well in New York, friend. Stay safe. Um, 
And I saw your birthday post on my wall. Thank you. So yeah, we're just going to give this a rough chop. The caramelized onions may not look like they're doing a lot of anything, but they are on like a medium to medium low heat right now. And they're just kind of finishing up doing their own thing. Um, here, I'll turn the pan up so you can see. See, they got a good color to them. And the longer you let them cook, the more uh, sugar is going to be pulled out of them. I'm probably going to stop them here in a little bit um, because I don't want them to get too sweet. Because again, I want this to be more on the savory side of things. All right. To my hash, since I got my bell peppers in there, I'm going to go ahead and season with a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Um, again, I'm typically, I'm trying to stay away from a lot of salt right now. Um, you know, blood pressure, that kind of thing, being healthy. But you don't want stuff coming up out of your kitchen that ain't seasoned, okay? Once these caramelized onions are finished though, I am going to set them to the side. I don't want to um, add them to the pot and continue the cooking process. So I'll just put them on the side and kind of like toss them in uh, once everything is finished. I don't know if you guys can hear my phone uh, going off in the background. I hope not. Jordan, hello, hello. Hug your mom for me. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear my phone going off in the background, but it's just a few text messages people still sending me. Birthday love. Thank you, cousin. I appreciate it. All right. So let's turn this back on. I don't know if y'all noticed. I turned the pot off or the uh, pan off for the chorizo back here. In this dish, I'm going to use about a half a pound of chorizo. If you would like, you can add more. I didn't want it to be like a like meaty, meaty dish. I wanted the sweet potatoes to really kind of shine um, in this instance. So we're only going to use about a half a pound. This recipe in itself, if this is something that you're solely serving for brunch, It'll serve three to four um, moderately hungry people. Um, but for a side dish, if you make like pancakes, you want a whole bunch of brunch spread, this will definitely stretch a lot further. So, there is a lid somewhere. There she is. All right, let's go ahead and put a cup on this. Again, we're going to cover this and let it uh, cook only because I want to. Um, Rudy, what's up? Jennifer, hello. How are you? Um, we're going to put a lid on this only because I want the steam from the sweet potatoes and everything to cook, uh, cooking to allow them to soften up a little bit faster. Because if not, sweet potatoes do tend to take a little while to soften up. All right. Looks like our onions are ready, so we're going to put them on the back burner. We're going to pull this forward and get this chorizo out the um, fridge. Again, this is Mexican style chorizo. Um, I'll give you guys a good look at that. So there's a couple different styles that you can cook with. Some of them come in the casing. I particularly wanted to do this out of the casing because um, I wanted to mix in really well with the um, with the sweet potato hash. You can take uh, this chorizo and cook it in a skillet. Shay, hey, how are you? Candy, what's up? You can take this chorizo bush. I know you love chorizo and tacos, so this is like right up your alley. <laughs> um, you can take this chorizo and like add it to um, breakfast tacos, that kind of thing. Typically, if I'm doing the chorizo in a casing, it's more of like a grilling style. I'm just like serving it on the side with some veggies or something like that. Shirley, hello, hello. Happy Easter to you. All right, let's see. I will say the thing about chorizo, it has a pretty high fat content. So at the end of the cooking process, you definitely want to take, um, take it and drain off all the extra fat. We don't want this dish to be too greasy and too heavy. All right, again, this is about a half a pound. If you guys are just now tuning in, um, I'm making sweet potato hash, and it's my birthday. So tell me happy birthday, because I love it. Jose, Kawana, Moya, what up? Um, but yeah, if y'all are just tuning in, I'm doing a sweet potato hash. I'm not really going over the recipe in depth today, only because I do have it pinned on my Facebook wall. So if this is something you want to execute at a later date, uh, feel free. Um, also, you guys, all these videos that I've been doing are going to be uploaded on my YouTube. Um, I'm really easy to find on YouTube. It's just my first and last name, super simple, not hard. Um, the other three videos I've done are already up for your viewing pleasure, okay? And then this one, I can't promise it's going to get uploaded today because right after this uh, uh, demo that I'm doing right now, we're going to start the birthday fun. Even though it's just myself and my roommate, um, it might get a little weird. <laughs> okay. Every couple minutes, you definitely want to come back to the pot 
and give your sweet potatoes a good stir and kind of mix everything up so that way they're not, ensure that they're not sticking or burning. Um, this chorizo shouldn't take long to cook. Um, if you guys aren't a fan of chorizo or pork at all, you can obviously substitute any social goes. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, you have. You passed, you said hello to that many people. Um, chorizo is also, like I said, a pork based uh, product, but if you're not a fan of pork or chorizo, you can substitute any breakfast meat you want to. You can do turkey sausage, chicken sausage, bacon. Again, you can do a veggie version and uh, take um, tofu and make your own uh, chorizo. Where's my dad at? Did my dad join the room? Oh no, you're talking about me looking like Stanley McGee. <laughs> I was like, is he creeping on me for my mom? Facebook? Michael, how you doing today? Um, yeah, from start to finish, this dish shouldn't take you more than about 30 minutes to cook. Um, super simple. Now I am going to add some garlic to my sweet potato hash. I think we talked about it in one of my other videos with garlic. You never want to add garlic to the pot like right away solely. Hello, Molly, hello. Shelly, I think you're back or just coming in, hello. Um, but yeah, with garlic, you never want to add it to the pot right away because if you do burn garlic, um, it's gonna give it a very like bitter taste as opposed to like a more like savory uh, taste that you're looking for. Alright, y'all this chorizo smells bomb. Maybe I should have put more than half a pound. <laughs> and just a little tip that you guys, some safe, some fun stuff I've been doing. I don't know how y'all are feeling with like being locked in the house. John, what's up? Lauren, hi, hi, hi. Hopefully that baby's doing well. John, how are you in Dallas? Um, but yeah, some fun stuff that I've been doing you guys over the last couple weeks, being in quarantine too, that I actually make a month for myself. I've been locked in the house. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but I've been, every night before band, I've been just like jotting down a few things that, um, that I want to accomplish the next day. Whether it be like clean a room or whatever, just something simple. So get motivated, get inspired. This is the perfect time to like pick up a hobby, learn how to cook. Like I said, some of y'all can't boil water. Um, so yeah, don't sit around a mo because you like the house. There's plenty of stuff to do. All right. Honestly, these sweet potatoes are coming along really well. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil to it because I don't like the way it's looking. Michael, happy Easter to you. You know what? Everybody's like, oh, are you dying eggs and doing deviled eggs and stuff? Absolutely not. Deviled eggs are not my jam. I can't stand the texture. They sink. They're pretty much all around. It's awful. But you know what? That's your thing. Go for it. All right, my chorizo is looking good. I am going to stir this up because I did add a little more olive oil to it. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to chop up my garlic. So right at the end, I can add that to the pot. Um, the only other thing I need to do is break out a pan because I am going to add a couple of eggs to this. Now the eggs I'm going to do are sunny side up and they're solely for the uh, visual aspect of it. I'm not a sunny side uh, person. But if you want to do scrambled, like whatever, you totally can. Fun fact, if you're ever doing scrambled eggs, low is low. Kim, <laughs> you do love deviled eggs. And I made some bomb deviled eggs for your baby shower. Um, but no, the good thing about this hash, it doesn't have to be a certain particular egg. You can put any kind of egg on top of it you want to. Allison, hello. Um, the good thing about scrambled eggs, or fun fact about scrambled eggs, add a little bit of dairy to it um, and cook them low and slow. That's essentially going to make them like super light and fluffy. Um, for you as far as the finishing product. Um, but let's chop up this garlic and then we're going to get to the eggs. Easiest way to get the peel off your garlic uh, is take your knife and smash it with the back of your knife. Just kind of release the hole or the, the shell of it and then you should be able to push it out right on out. Um, something that I like to do to just kind of have on hand around the house is I actually like to take whole bulbs of garlic, the whole thing that you get when you pick them up at the grocery store. I like to take them and wrap them in a little bit of foil and put them in the oven for about, I would say about 15 to 20 minutes on 300 um, with some olive oil. Kareem, how you doing boss? Anthea, how are you? Um, so why can you, hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, I like to take the garlic and put it uh, in some foil 
in the, the whole shell and everything with a little bit of olive oil and essentially let it roast um, and do roasted garlic. You can take that stuff and utilize it and put it in anything. You know, you can make your own homemade garlic bread. You can put it in, you know, spaghetti sauce bases. There's so many uses um, for roasted garlic. It's a super versatile thing. And the thing about roasted garlic, it actually um, is gonna sweeten it up a little bit. So it's gonna bring out that natural sweetness, kind of like what happens when you do caramelized onions. All right. Again, this chop on this garlic doesn't have to be perfect. And I use four cloves. If you're ever cooking anything and it says use one clove of garlic, keep flipping. Go to the next recipe. Don't trust it. Marilyn, hey, how are you? All right. Um, I will want to say, I do want to say something too. Thank you guys for supporting me, tuning in every couple of days, liking the post, sharing the post. Feel free to uh, share this live video now. Um, I know. Um, as of late, I've been added to about three or four different um, quarantine cooking instructional recipe groups on Facebook. So if y'all run across some, definitely feel free to add me to it. I love sharing my knowledge um, and my uh, cooking passion with anybody. Lance, how you doing? Cousin Omar, how you doing? David, what up? Tia, hi, hi, hi. Okay, so let's grab these eggs out of the fridge. And we're going to do some sunny side up eggs. I'm only gonna do two, um, only because there's two of us in the house. Y'all can't see him, but my roommate's over here cheering because he loves the runny egg situation. No, thank you. But you know what? We're gonna serve it like this. I'm gonna take some pictures because Diane told me I needed more beauty pictures. So I am. And then uh, I'm probably gonna scramble me some eggs to be completely honest. All right, let's turn that down a little bit. Also, too, when I'm cooking with like real butter, not margarine, because there is a difference, you guys. I like it when my butter gets a little brown um, because it gives us everything like a really good nutty flavor. Again, with this, I'm just going to do a little bit of pepper. I don't know why I use that pepper. I got some little good fresh ground pepper. All right, everything's honestly coming along really well. You guys definitely go over to my Instagram. I mean, my YouTube, subscribe, share the recipes with your friends and family. If you got questions, uh, feel free to DM me. I know a lot of you I'm actually in direct contact with. Y'all have my phone number, uh, so feel free to reach out. Um, all right, I'm going to give you guys a good look at these potatoes. See, they have a good color. I like a little charredness on them. It just gives a good flavor. To me personally, if you don't, you can always like monitor it a little bit more. I do like the char, and they're softening up really well. And as you notice, I did about five tablespoons, six tablespoons total in olive oil, and they're not super greasy at all. You know, sometimes you can get like home fries or soft fried potatoes or whatever, and they're super greasy. So these aren't at all. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my oil. I mean, add in my garlic, because we are getting close to finishing things up. And then let's go ahead and get this sunny side out the skillet. Uh, I just really don't understand why people like these. Also, that's a beer of the egg. We're going to try this again. I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> Let me tell you, an honest chef is the best chef, okay? They say everything is good coming out their kitchen, they're alive. I know I messed stuff up all the time. Kind of like last time I did chicken piccata. One of my chicken breasts was a little burnt, and I didn't show y'all, but it was. Paula, how are you? Sade, Marcus Franklin, and what's going on, classmate? Brian, hello, hello, in Dallas. Okay, so we're going to do another egg really quick. What I'm going to do is turn the heat down a little bit. I feel like my heat was a little high. Also, if you can't crack an egg with one hand, you ain't cooking. So we are getting close to like finishing things up. I did go ahead and throw the garlic in at the very last minute um, because I wanted to, you know, obviously cook, but I don't want it to burn. I'm running the risk of adding a bitter flavor to my dish. And then what I'm gonna do too is go ahead and I'm gonna take my caramelized onion and add them to the pot as well. All right, for you guys that are just tuning in or just, you know, finding out about what I'm doing here. Thanks. Thanks, Marcus, I appreciate it, man. 38 crept up on me real quick. <laughs> um, the last couple weeks I've been going on live Facebook 
and doing some cooking tutorials. Everybody's kind of stuck in the house right now, so really having a tough time coming up with fun stuff to cook um, or whatever. So these videos are just essentially, you know, to throw some of stuff out there for you guys. Um, again, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to call this kitchen segment after the quarantine is lifted. It definitely can't be quarantine kitchen. But if you guys got suggestions, feel free to DM me, call me, email me. I can't tweet me because I don't have a Twitter. Um, all right. And you know what? Surprisingly, this chorizo actually didn't come out too greasy. If you guys want to take a look, um, it's perfect. So in this pot, I got my sweet potatoes. I got my green bell peppers. I got my onions, my caramelized onions, my garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and add the chorizo to it. I'm gonna get that in there. Honestly, this is looking real good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna definitely crush this once I get off the lot. I am gonna do a taste on camera. Everybody last time was like, it was anticlimactic. You didn't do a taste of the video of what you were making. So I'll definitely do a taste today. Yes, look at that egg. That looks good. And instead of that other crap, we're gonna do some fresh crap. And that's a perfect sunny side. Boom. Right, we're going to slide that off and we're going to do one more just like that before I plate everything up. With this dish, I am going to garnish it with a little bit of um, a little bit of guacamole that I have in the fridge. If you don't have guacamole um, and you just got avocado, you can do just avocados. Um, I'm going to opt out and doing the cheese on the recipe that I posted. Um, I typically like to do a little bit of Parmesan cheese, so I'm trying to cut back. On all the fats, Joshua, Vanessa, come on, Alan, what's up, man? Casey, how are you? Um, I'm trying to cut back on like the fats and dairy and stuff that I'm eating. So, Leslie, thank you for joining. Um, so, I'm not going to garnish it with cheese, but you can do um, a cheese on it if you like. Let's see. All right, fresh cracked pepper. Let's go ahead and give this a taste and see if we're missing anything. Again, this is a sweet potato hash. It is going to be on the savory side of the dishes. Oh, wow. Honestly, that's really good. With the chorizo being one of the main ingredients, you don't necessarily... Cousin, why can't you crack an egg with one hand? I thought you were better than that in the kitchen. I've seen your skills. Um, but no, what I was saying with the chorizo, being typically being a little more of a salty... A component in any dish that you utilize it in. I didn't add a lot of salt, but this is perfect. The natural sweetness and the sweet potatoes and the onions um, paired with the bell peppers and the garlic. This has turned out better than I expected. I mean, I'm good in the kitchen, but you never know. Um, let's just kind of recap. Every Thursday, 7 o'clock, I'm going to be doing these videos. Um, I'm going to do them on Facebook Live every week. Rashonda, hello. Um, <laughs> Neil, you can make spaghetti. Um, I'm going to do these Facebook lives every Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I'm also going to be uploading them um, that same day or maybe a day or two um, in the future afterwards on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is just my name, Chris McGee. Super easy to um, figure out. But yeah, these are like really fun, easy dishes to make. I'm not making it complicated. Um, I want it to be super approachable so that way everybody feels comfortable making something outside of like your normal scrambled eggs and toast for breakfast or you know, fried chicken, because last week I did chicken piccata, so definitely you guys tune in and keep supporting me. I really appreciate it. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead. We're going to play a little bit of this up. Give y'all a good look. And then, I'm going to do what they call food styling. Because, you know, that's the thing. And I'm going to actually take pictures, and then I'll post it to this very same live video. For the final result. Um, okay. For you all that don't watch a lot of TV, one thing I am excited about for my birthday today, Insecure is coming back on. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Kanithia, hello. Ashley, how are y'all? I don't know if you guys are just tuning in, but I am going to save this to my Facebook Live. I mean, my Facebook wall, so you can enjoy it at a later date. And again, this is just some guacamole that was already in the fridge. So this is not something that I prepared or whatever. Um, but you can add avocados. You can garnish it with cheese. 
uh, do whatever you like. Sade, what are you saying yes to? So yeah, super simple, super easy. Boom, sweet potato hash, sunny side egg. Come on, guacamole, hot sauce, obviously, when you're in Texas. Um, but that's gonna be it, you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Every Thursday, 7 p.m., Facebook Live. Michael, hello. Sorry I'm built to, to log off, but thank you for coming in and joining. Um, but yeah, every Thursday, come on, Food Network. You know what? Send the content, tag them. I'm trying to make these coins, okay? 38 needs to look good on me. Well, it is looking good, but no, but every Thursday, 7 p.m., Facebook Live, posting on my YouTube. I really appreciate the love. Um, thank y'all for tuning in, you guys, but I'm about to enjoy the rest of my birthday. Y'all be safe. Have a good day.